Hello everybody, well what a day today has been, very emotional, we've celebrated D-Day and I'd just like to pay a thank you to all public sector caterers who have put special menus on, celebrated D-Day and bought it with the National Fish and Chip Day, our national dish, some will say no roast beef but it's been very emotional to see patients eating them, care homes, school children learning about D-Day. Sorry, I'm emotional. I've today also spoke myself. I was asked to do an interview by the BBC. And that was emotional. We cannot allow that ever to happen again. People give their lives. I had two great uncles I never met. Because they were part of the 50th, British 50th Infantry. And they landed on Gold Beach. One didn't even make it off the beach. But he, you know, the letter he wrote to his wife that the day before was poignant. It just said, I'm doing this for the family and the country. I don't know what's happening. We don't know when. But we know one thing. We will fight for your and our freedom. And then his brother, two years younger, three days after D-Day, was captured by the Germans. And instead of taking as a prisoner of war, they took him into a field with 17 others and shot them. And said they were trying to escape. But everybody knows they didn't. The world is facing tyranny again. Please let's not let it happen again. Let's get round a table and talk. Let's not let the mad men of, mad, mad men of Europe or the, the world win. We have to find a way for peace. We have to find a way to say to the people who gave their lives for us two great world wars we do remember you and our honour to you is we won't allow the tyranny to take the world again and to take a generation away from us of you who simply lost lives on both sides due to two to three madmen in the world it cannot be allowed to happen again. Thank you.